and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Europa and Vesalius 4 with the 1.34 Sweden patch and the Lions of the North DLC. Uh, yeah, we just took a lot of lands in East Frisia, including a lot of development there as well. Now we're trying to max out our fleet capacity, which is 204. We can build ports as well with the money we have. Um, let's see about the army. I think we can build another army as well. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, there, like that, coalition is growing, how strong is it again, 150, Poland is up to only 23, so they will probably not join coalition. I, I need to do a lot of things for them to join. And this was not enough. But to take the coast like this and gain some influence in um, the English Channel is crazy. And that's what I'm going to use the ships for, to just pour down there and get some influence. Oh, they're leaving the coalition. Now they're leaving the coalition. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. But we're not attacking until we... Um, uh, we need to get rid of the overextension. It's pretty high. 89.5%. What about the uh, institution? It's spreading good here. Oh. If we have 6,300, we can, we can embrace it. That is completely possible. Why are we earning only 17? Is it because we are reinforced? No, that's not the, the thing. Uh, why is there only 45 ships trading in the North Sea? We we. S oh, we have two of them. Okay. Maybe it's better if we merge these guys. Foreign trader, okay. Uh, merge and trade. North Sea. Let's see here. We're earning 116. Should be not be a problem. I should earn more money than that. Oh, it's because of the overextension. I'm stupid. You get severe penalties to your economy with overextension like that. That's why I always forget about that. Because you get corruption and it's crazy. So yeah, I get corruption of overextension, but... Personal union on Monarch's death. We need to marry somebody. He's only 16, but he's not married. Alright. We need to secure our throne. Oh, 39,000. Uh, let's see if we can go via Kaluga. Now here. We have a three-star general, so yeah. That's right. They are attacking, so we we are counting as a defense anyway. Yeah, it works. <sighs> How big is the coalition? Only these guys. So as soon as the overextension is gone, we are ready to attack again, I think. 
We're almost earning no money now. Five. The overextension needs to go. And it looks like this. About 30% done. Seems like most of the ships are done here. of micromanagement to do here. There we go, 48 ships. Okay, was that all of them for now? think so. So let's produce a lot of he heavy frigates more here. So we reach 204. can start their trading in English Channel right now. Uh, so 49 ships in the English Channel, that makes us compete a little bit at least. I didn't suffer any war exhaustion either. No. 50% done with coring. Yeah, I feel bad for Scotland actually. <laughs> for calling him uh, for calling them into the war. Nobody protected them. They just let the British we just let the British eat them. <laughs> it feels wrong. <clears throat> but they wanted to join, so and I thought France would move their troops up here and then be able to pound them from there, but they didn't. army in place. Great. That means we have a standing army of 330,000 men. Um, we don't have that much money, so we need to s save it. Goslar has been cored. That means 81%. So, yeah, 80% done on all of the others. And that, yeah... I hope it's enough to make war against German provinces again. But 
We need a royal marriage here. We have three royal marriages. Why cannot my king are unable to find? Maybe it's because of the overextension, diplomatic reputation down to almost minus three. Could be. Ottomans are embargoing us. Lost a general. All the ships are being completed. Dissenting academics, uh, we want research, as always. Uh, more ships on the way? I don't think so. Merge, and then go with uh, the English Channel. Fleet, head up here and merge. Merge, and the trade. English Channel. I'm thinking of having an Admiral here, actually. <laughs> But that takes up a leader slot. That's why I don't want it, so no. Ban the publications, uh, make vague promises of re reform. Yeah, vague promises. Oh. We can invest in a new tech. That means military, and we can improve our artillery to royal mortars. Do that. So if I attack these guys, Bohemia will join. What about the Austrian alliances? Milan, Lanzut, yeah. Just crap nations. Milan is the only threatening one, I think. How big is Tuscany? Two provinces. So, how is our trade power in the English Channel? It is now 322. Uh, that's true, we need, a, we need a merchant here. We have six merchants abroad, so we are not earning anything until we have a merchant. Uh, that's true. So Saxony, we are dominating. We are not dominating here. We don't need that merchant in... Uh, No, I rather want this merchant to recall. There we go, and add him to the English Channel. Collect from trade. Yeah. Let's see how much more we will get. <laughs> oh my god! So instead of like five, what was it, five something? We get 40 ducats. So that's that's plus 40 on this trade here. That is now 150. That's a good percentage increase. <laughs> Holy God. Oh. I hope we will defend. That's a lot of troops. Uh, help them out. Uh, to love and be loved, let the emperor have his heart's desire, or marrying lowborn, totally out of the question. Local unrest goes down, but tax modifier, manpower modifier, prestige and legitimacy. Uh, 
No, he will he will marry for love because we. This new consort is 433. She's a lowborn, but we are in desperate need of having a consort. Otherwise, we could lose our entire empire. So that means we secured that. We haven't secured it, but uh, now they can. They need to get an heir. Then we secure it. So how old is she? 24. She's older. And I'm 18. Uh, level up diplomatic technology. We can. We can improve our heavy ships. Yeah. This is the North Sea trade. Let's go here. Cancel mission, go here. Go here then and leave um, spread of ideas. Yeah, I want the institution spread, definitely. And record everything. I was just thinking about that and then it happened. Let's see, where to... let's go to... Liebeck and repair there, because I think that's the best port. Uh, get rid of all the heavy ships there. And then trade with the rest in North Sea again. And those six ships needs to upgrade. Seventeen oh nine. We are zero percent overextended. So that means we're earning one hundred and thirty eight ducats now. Damn. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, to attack these guys means that weak coalition fighting me. But I, I want France to join in this war. I don't want them to sit by. So if I go at Cologne, that does not matter. If I go against Franconia, Naples will join. If I go against Verden here, Uh, okay. Uh, so I think it's best if we wait a little bit. I want France with me. It makes things a lot easier. And now my reputation is still minus. Because it's sabotaged. Oh. Earning 133 or 134. Uh, I want to gather up to get that institution. That is what I'm saving money for now. 6,000. Oh. 6,000. They're still allied to France. France will protect them. Nobody will join me there. Cologne. What about... Um, what about Brunswick then? Anhalt. Brabant. France will join against Brabant. That is entirely possible. Then Austria and their allies will join England again. Uh, why? Scotland says no this time. <laughs> nah. I don't want the British against me again because it just 
makes things... There's a truce there, so we can skip that one. What about Lusatia? No. We need to improve relations with... Yeah, France is doubting us right now. Bohemia, they are doubting as well in a bit, but they always say yes as soon as we're going to war. <laughs> they are warmongers. It's very, very rare that Bohemia says no when I ask them for war. Age of Revolutions is now starting. So we lo lose all the benefits we had for absolutism. But that... That is something everybody else also does. Fifth naval tradition. Was it? Yeah. So more trade. Earning 138, 137. The heavy ships have been uh, upgraded, so I don't know. Should I... Yeah, I should merge them. So let's get them over here. And I would like them to have... To be in the English Channel instead. No, the North Sea is better. North Sea... Get down here. Ottomans no longer consider us as a rival. Huh. What should I make of that? Uh, I'm actually thinking of uh, building a, a relation with them. Why is there still a sword here? But Na Naples hate the Ottomans. No, they don't. And France has no problems with the Ottomans. It's only Spain that really... And Spain does not rival Ottomans either anymore. So I should change that. I should get rid of the Ottomans. But I need 92 for that. Okay, 92 diplomatic power. That's just one, one more month. Yeah, so, so, yeah. That is the Ottomans, right? Yes. Revoke and borrow with them. Wait a second, we are not... Emperor reputation tarnished. Uh, of course I'm losing diplomatic power. Yeah, embrace the reputation. And uh, it seems like I'm not rivaling them anymore. So now it has to be Frank Franconia that I need to rival. So that means I want to attack Franconia when we're attacking. It's much better to attack rivals. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out. They're leaving the coalition. The little coalition there is. Um, look how close France is to become <laughs> third place again. <clears throat> Uh, make vague promises of reform.
Okay, so we're no longer rivaling them. I, I'm, I want to improve relations with them, actually. And see where that leads. Because Spain had their chance with me, and they just hate my guts. The Ottomans does not hate me. They have like minus five because of a little bit different religion. But they don't see me, they don't see my Christianity as a problem. So I could, I could make use of them like crazy here. Go against Poland, France, everything. I can have them do everything for me. Uh, morale of armies, uh, INR, fort defense, yes. Definitely. So let's build relation with the Ottomans and then we can kick ass. Oh my god. Ottomans attitude is friendly towards us. We cannot do that yet because we don't have the relations, but we're building. We're building. They want us as an ally. They want us to crush the middle part here. That is what they are after. Interesting. I just need an heir. That's starting to... Uh, yeah, I'm not old, but you never know what happens. You could die of some for some stupid reason. Product act. Pass the act. Trade efficiency. Maintain the present policy. Yeah, I want that trade actually. Two hundred forty-three thousand manpower. Dalstava Church, Brandenburg Gate. We can okay. Prestige from land battle. I want that. That's pretty cool. Build the Brandenburg Gate. Coalition is growing. Okay. They're entering coalitions against me. But if I get the Ottomans with me, I can just... Look at this. I can fucking ally them. Do that. <laughs> what? Uh, royal marriage. Uh, pre nah, there we cannot have it. But they are my ally now. And if I go against Poland, the Ottomans will not join. So we will see. We need to suck up to them a little bit more. Military access from Volgast, okay, why? What happens if I threaten war now? It does not matter really, even though I have those allies. If I attack Franconia, Bohemia will join, okay. I just hope the Ottomans does not throw themselves into stupid wars for me to support, then I will just ignore them. Gain 100 military power... right. Let's see if we can max this out to land attrition, minus 10. That gives us policies, right? Yeah. Fort maintenance, that's way lower. Uh, yeah. Goods produced modifier is also very good. F but fort maintenance. Let's go with that. And goods produced as well. Let's see. Yeah, we have two, two policies that cost us a lot, but I want them. Wait a second, why is it plus three here only? 
Ah, the ruler is only one. Oh my god. National focus minus one, policies minus one, diplomatic relations because of Ottomans minus one. Yep. I leave we, yeah, we need a focus like this. Ottomans will not join me in any wars. Do they have any rivals? Spain. So if I attack Spain, they will not join there either. Uh, it seems like Spain is in a war against Morocco. They want to spread down in Africa now. Timor, it's Poland. Uh, Franconia. Brabant. England will join, but that's it. Yeah, I don't know. I need to think about this. And I want an heir. Well, nobody would dare to attack me with these allies, because then they will join. So I'm very safe from any attacks. But to go on offensive wars is another thing here. What about Bohemia? I will not betray them. Coalition. How big is the coalition? These guys, okay. Minor nations. Thuringia. Austria is in a coalition against you. If called Colbrigent, all the members of the coalition will be called to the war. Okay, so the entire coalition joins if one of these joins. But the coalition is weak. Yeah, I will do that in the beginning of the next episode. So I don't want to start another thing here now in the end here. Quarantine. Uh, we could embrace this. Yeah, 5700. We can almost embrace. We could end the episode by embracing an enlightenment era. Uh, and I will not level up anything paying too much for this. It's 30% more expensive just because we don't have enlightenment, so I will wait until I have it here. We're earning 177 ducats a month now. Let's see here. Uh, army professionalism. That's nice. Pretty high. A very modern army. We have an air. 464 is awesome as well. Christian. So now in, we are no longer in danger of losing our kingdom. Maybe that should strengthen our face in the world. We will see. Waiting to embrace the institution. How many has embraced it yet? Yeah, m almost, yeah, entire Europe. I'm the only one that has... Or ha has... Ha I don't know who is embracing. I don't think France has done it. Never mind. I will do it in just within months here. 5,500. Yeah, one more month. They're leaving the coalition. Good. We can embrace. That's all my money. And then we can level up administration. We have embraced. How does it look like when we embrace it again? Oh, it needs to be deep green. 
this dark greenish. So only these guys have embraced it, not the light green ones here. This is only the spread when it's light green. Okay, so industrialization is the one. Soon we can go with the coal. That's pretty interesting. I want to see this. Let's see here. Trade goods. Yeah, the striped ones here. They will become coal. I don't think I have that much coal. <laughs> it's worth so much. 10. So we have resources that are worth 3.4. We have 4.5, which is kind of good. 5 is really good, but coal is worth 10. <laughs> when you produce that. Because it's the beginning of the industrialization and stuff. Uh, we can save him. Save the trader. Yeah, so... We will end the episode here, and uh, I will. F I need to. S I need to up. Uh, uh, I need to load the game some. Some day here now to just figure out where to go before I uh, start the next episode, because this need to be thought through carefully here, because you you have a lot of choice. Maybe there's one Ottomans will join. So, yeah, very interesting with the Ottoman alliance. Holy shit. It could also be my downfall helping them. But, yeah. Spain had their chance. And they didn't take it. They they hate me. And I, I cannot have an alliance with those who hate my religion. It's impossible. Ottomans, they do not care about my religion. So, yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh... And we will see if there is a massive war in the German states once again. Take care. Bye.